is tough. This is tough before it um, actually. Right. So right now, we're gonna dice up the tofu. All right. So like one, two, three. Everything the comma dice is now. So you know this is tofu, you know. Yes, so we're going to, as you can see the iron is very hot. The smoke has come outside, see? I drop the tofu with them in That's a big name. Yeah, so. Yeah, set them in other parts, you know. So they can. The tofu is already fried. See so them? Nice. So, I'm going to move this iron here. And this part will actually start it from earlier. So this is um, fish tea here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna pour this fish tea flavored soup mix, like half of it. This part right here. Yeah. And then um, always remember to get a spoon and mix it around. So, what we're going to put in this pot today is corn. Put the corn and we put the corn in, in that. So, the corn is going to boil with a lot of flavor. So, it's just water and corn. So, even the, the water from the corn it can be absorbed to the body. So, this is a pineapple right now we have here. So, what we're going to do, we're going to make sure we get the right knife. So we need this knife, we need a fork. So here, I'm going to cut the vine up like this. As you get it like that, we're going to be shaping the pineapple in a bowl. So, you don't want to cut the pineapple at the bottom, so when you put the uh, liquid in it, it leak out. So, try not to, if you can cut up the pineapple. So now you see what it looks like now. Zoom in on it now. And you could see. So now you have like, you could hold it actually like a bowl like that. So all the pineapple what inside has removed. And now it looks like a bowl inside of your hand. So all of the middle of the pineapple is actually here. Remember me I tell you so this is like a soup. That actually what it smell like right now. And I'm telling your people, sir, to all the corn is inside of it. The corn give it a spice. So you see how rich the corn is right now. It is so nice. So what we're gonna do now? We have scallion, and we have a pinch of thyme. And um, we're gonna go over here and wash the seeds. The washing the vegetables is always good. Washing vegetables and you put the thyme and skeleton in that pot. After you put that in that pot, you want to get, um, remember I said today I'm going to make some yellow rice. This is natural organic, as you can see. It's organic turmeric. 
you don't have turmeric, you can use like a little bunch of curry. And you, uh, you put like half teaspoon of turmeric in it. And then you, also, you get like a spoon. And you turn your spoon around. So you're gonna let that boil for approximately another five to seven minutes. All right? Now we're gonna go ahead now and preheat the oven. I'm gonna put the oven at this point at 250 right now. And I'm gonna put the oven at 250 right now. I'm gonna put the oven to preheat at 250. So when we come back, we're gonna show you what it look like, all right? And show you what we're gonna do. Bang in. See it? Now we have like a half of onion here. We're gonna put the onion right here and dice it slow. Slowly in very thin slices. Ala beer or pepper. Otherwise called scotch bite. It's very it's a hot pepper. So when you're using this pepper you use um, a little bit to your knee. If you like spicy you can um, use a lot like when you use it. I like spicy food. This is also a tomato. Tomato, go ahead and dice up the tomato like that. Um, it's natural, it's good. This is bell pepper, yellow bell pepper. So, I cut up like a little bit. You know, and turn off it. We also have a little piece of the red one. Shot and spice. This is scallion. You know, put on the scallion. Nice. Yeah. Nice and neat. Now we're gonna go ahead and check this one here to see how it's looking. So and zoom down the it and see it how delicious it looking right now and this part here is the what we're gonna put the rice in so I'm gonna show you always remember to wash your rice look at the water so you see how dirty that water is so you always want to wash your rice Me wash my rice like three times. Oh, you see all the water is clean from that fully white. Watch out. This is the top of the pot cover. And this is the bottom cover. So this we're gonna put in the oven that we already preheat for 10 minutes. So check it out. All this stuff. I'm gonna put it in the oven. Yeah, so now we're gonna be putting in the rice. So now the rice is in. And you always remember, sir. Always listen to what the other people said. They know your spoon to store your rice. It made the rice get soft. So, after you pour the rice in, you get a fork and you stir it around. And you're gonna leave this rice to approximately cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. Nice and shiny. But before I wanna show you the pie. Pineapple is no good. Oh, and uh, the season is ready. And we have like quass 
some pineapple juice. So now we're gonna take a season. This is what the seeds look like. Mm. Yes. The mere mere from the seeds here in this hot coconut oil. Yeah. See now we have to take out the pineapple out of the oven. And this is what it looks like now very rich so I'm gonna go ahead and put the cover on it so, so now the season is actually marinated now in the coconut oil take a look at the season that we actually just cut, put up cut up now we're gonna go ahead and turn down the rice so the rice can steam a little properly See now, it has come to a lovely look. Uh, and go ahead and take a little bit just to. So at this point, there is no season in it, ex only grown season. And that is what I'm saying. Once you put your, all your season together, set your thing right you don't need anything and the pineapple the pineapple what i'm telling you the pineapple give it this flavor it's unbelievable so this don't forget this meal here you only you only first see tofu in pineapple sauce and when we come back we'll be showing you how we got a service. Oh, no, I, I got that, but I'm talking about one. 